There's no point in talking about Linux if I can't edit my videos and record it. Linux. I would say the Windows counterpart would be Sony Vegas Pro, and that's saying a lot. Kaden Live, 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 Live. George Bush doesn't care about black people. We all have inalienable human rights, and anything, any document that lists those rights only lists those rights. Um, they don't give you those rights. You have those rights. It only lists the rights you already have. So, the point is, is that you can use those rights or not. You know, that's entirely your choice. And here in the United States, we have a little thing called the First Amendment. It grants things like freedom of speech, freedom of expression, freedom of religion, so on. But it also grants um, freedom of press, in other words, freedom of the media. And rather than watching the media, it's a better idea to be the media, seeing as the mainstream media is filtered garbage anyway for you know thought police and purposes and so on. Um, this 24/7 fear. So there's a fire over at um, the Sami Savoy restaurant last night, and um, I wasn't able to video that. If there's any clips floating around online, I'll insert them into this video. I don't know if there is or not. Um, I guess we'll find out. But anyway. Um, the aftermath is funny because I went over to, to take video, you know, just the place boarded up and whatever, and figured it also served to advertise the restaurant a little bit, and I got their website on there and so on. And um, there's the, this, like, emergency response crew or whatever, right? Basically glorified contractors, probably hired by the insurance company. So after I get through, you know, filming the video, I was about to leave, ironically, and, you know, this the fucking supervisor guy, you know, he thinks he's all big and bad and can, you know, wave his dick around because he's a supervisor of a crew and he's standing there holding the fucking clipboard, right? So, you know, he decides to, to get all shitty with me. And it, it was funny. And he asked me to leave, blah, blah, blah. And so fine, I left. I was about to leave anyway. That's the irony of it, you know? So, um, enjoy the video. This is what was the... Sammy's Boy Restaurant. Ah, and there, there's our motorbike buddy over there. What's up? <laughs> he seems to love getting in, in footage. Just, I, you know, I'm, I'm videoing and just, there he is. He just pops up. Anyway, this suffered some sort of a fire. Um, from what I understand, it, um, 
was a fire to cover up a burglary of some sort. I don't know all of the details. That's all I know, but the fire happened yesterday and there was tons of smoke and stuff. I didn't get any video of that. But as um, we can see, it's all boarded up and stuff. So, let's take a closer look. We got the emergency uh, disaster response vehicles here, 24-hour disaster response. And I'm on my bike and I'm going to go over this way to get a get a closer look. Again, I'm not sure as to the exact nature of the fire. I heard it was something to cover up a burglary or something that may or may not be true. I'm kind of hearing this second hand. But, um, really nasty fire last night and this is the, uh, the end result. Um, hopefully they've got full coverage on their insurance and hopefully they will be back up in operation uh, sooner rather than later. Um, this has really been a really nice place to eat. I've eaten here many times. And um, you can see the damage. Some of it here. We can see the burn marks, the scorch marks on there. This is where uh, this this is where me and me and Sonia ate most of the time when we came here, and as we can see, it's utterly destroyed, just burned out and destroyed. Uh, to the best of my understanding, it it was a kitchen fire. Oh, and gee, there uh, there I am, my reflection. <laughs> so. As far as I know, is a kitchen fire, and um, you know, I don't know any more details than that. Um, hopefully, they will be uh, back up as soon as possible because this is a a nice place, and uh, there's their website. <laughs> hopefully, their website is still up. But. Uh, Yep, that's about it. I don't know anything else about this. As soon as I shut the camera off, one of the guys working on the scene, um, not a cop, not an owner, just miscellaneous, you know, paper pusher motherfuckers over there from one of the trucks or whatever. Um, he comes up to me. He says, Oh, you can't do that. This is private property. You gotta get out of here or I'll call the police. And I just said, all right, private property, so I'll leave because you asked me to leave. But seeing as this is going online as news, and I am talking highly of this place as I, I was a good customer before it, you know, burned down, I am exercising my First Amendment right. So, you know, people, you know, people are just, <laughs> it's amazing. You know, people wonder why. The government is able to take away our rights, left and right, and up and down. People are bitching, oh my god, our rights are being taken away. Well, they're allowing people to take away their rights through shit exactly like this. You know, they want their rights to be respected, but they won't respect anyone else's rights. So that gives government, you know, free license, especially when it comes to the excuse of, oh, we need to take away your rights so that you're a little more protected. Oh, you know, gotta worry about them terrorists. Blah, blah, blah. So, you know, just don't be fucking stupid and respect other people's rights if you want your rights respected.